Timmy Mallet, it's Stephen Fry. Stephen, very good. Now, Stephen. Thank you. Yes. Well, well, they've heard of you anyway, so that's. Uh, <laughs> Con content. Content yourselves. <laughs> Anyway, so now you, of course, relate to uh, our earlier guest there, because... Um, the cock ring. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was thinking more about Bamba, because... Um, oh. uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go on, go on. <clears throat> but I don't know, I don't know. No, right? no, no. Because no, no. you were on uh, University Challenge, weren't you? In because I've seen, I've seen you the episodes you were in. Was... Oh, I'm sorry. But you look, you looked exactly the same then as you do now. You look like everybody's, every Somali. mother's favourite son-in-law, and everyone else was in that sort of, you know, outrageous fashions that students go for. You're sitting there in a tweed jacket, uh, uh, <laughs> getting a good many of the answers right. Yes, I, I, yes, I think it looked a bit like an explosion at a, a chess match, really, didn't yeah. it? There was a lot of, <laughs> a lot of bottle-in spectacles and yeah. fluffy beards. Yes, and you were Queen's Cambridge, of course. We were all Queen's Cambridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, but it's a, 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 don't, you, don't you head up the campaign to bring it back, or are you involved in that campaign? Well, being a queen? Yeah, no, 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 no. no. We're always having to do that. Yes, they've never gone no, away. But uh, I, I don't. Um, I, I don't. I did have a letter from someone who had a very strange name, like. Um, Pamplemousse or something like mm. that, uh, um, who actually can't really have been that, uh, <laughs> wanting to bring it yeah. back. And uh, I believe there are plans to bring yeah. it back uh, from, from Granada Television. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'd be involved uh, a bit too old. Yeah. Well, to be a student, but you could, you could present it or something, couldn't you, if, if Bamba's not interested? No, no, fortunately, I, I, uh, I'll leave that to Chacho hosts. And yes. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 as you know, a person just yes. being myself. Yes. Ultimately, the, the, mm. you wouldn't get nice requests to play parts in films or on television yes. series. I mean, you, you know, if, if you suddenly saw Timmy Mallet or something in a film, you go, "That's Timmy Mallet." Yes. Now, admittedly, people go, "Oh, that's Stephen Fry." Yeah. Well, of course but, they do. But they sort of not surprised if I'm, you yeah. know, got a big moustache on one yeah. day or, or you know, in a well, you had a, you had a big moustache in the Stalag Luft thing the, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yes, you saw yeah. it. Did you? Yes. Well, I saw the first twenty minutes and I escaped because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you're a very funny man. <laughs> very witty. It's a sign of you not many people are aware yeah. of. <laughs> well, we're hoping to bring it out of you as well tonight. But, oh, uh, the, uh, but that was a slightly harder. strange thing for you to be... I mean, you were very much yourself. You were the sort of yeah. public school superior, putting the people down. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't regard myself as a sort of exterminator of the working classes. That may be yeah. your view of it. No, you weren't exterminating people, but you yeah. were very much playing the officer. Oh, putting uh, down in that sense. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Am I going too fast? Yes, yeah. you are. <laughs> no, um, it, it, what I liked about Stalag Luft as a script was it was a sort of bit like Animal Farm, really. If, if you had watched more of it, um, you would have seen... <laughs> I tried. That, I that a, that it, waiting it, for Timmy Mallet to come <laughs> in with <laughs> <it. Sadly. laughs> No, it, it, I, I like the way it turned around. It was like in Animal Farm, you know, where the pigs start wearing trousers yeah. and the whole thing's around to where it was again. Right. I mean, it's a complicated story, but it, essentially the Germans escape from the camp. Yeah. And um, we stay in the camp rather happily, knowing the war's ending. And uh, I like the idea of the fact that if the British were left behind in the camp, they would have to pretend to be German, some of them, those who yeah. can speak German. And uh, really, every ham actor's dream is to play two parts. One is the senior British officer, the SBO, as they know, the, you know, Jack yeah. Headley and Cole. Yes, yeah. No one is ever to try and escape like that again. Is that, <laughs> that sort of thing yeah. that is very yeah. sort of far yeah. back. And the other is to cut off, you know, absurd German, you know, with <laughs> quite a ridiculous yeah. virals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yeah. this is just... You do both, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. To do both in the same, yes. the same job. Just well, let's move on to some other areas of your work, because right. there's so many of them. Uh, you've, uh, <laughs> you've got, you, I know you've completed another novel. It's not out yet, so you're not strictly speaking plugging it, but no, uh, you've no. written it. What's it called? It's called The Hippopotamus. Yes. And um, is, it, uh, <laughs> is it autobiographical <laughs> at all? Um, no, 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 it no. isn't even slightly, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's terribly hard to describe what I was about. It's like someone looking at your underwear, you know. It's yes. just sort of... What's um, it full of, then? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> I like to think it's... <laughs> 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 
It's a salty, creamy confection. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> yes, so, well, well I, saw, I saw in that salacious uh, publication, is not to be trusted on things like the Radio Times, suggested there was some, some sex in it between a man and a horse. Um, is that the full thing, or just heavy petting, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Um, boy and a horse. Actually. A boy and a horse. No, I, had right, a, I had a letter from a man, perhaps I, I can take time off uh, yeah. just to, 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 to talk to this chap. I can't remember his name, but he, he wrote a letter saying that he had read this article. Story and said, um, you know, why have you got this scene of someone making love to a horse in a novel? There's a very serious incident of horse mutilation in the country. Yeah. A lot of it is sexually related, which is, I take the point, absolutely, mm -hmm. and is appalling. And, yeah. uh, but it has it is always struck me as peculiar that the British, whenever it comes to sex, any sex in a book, they kind of go, do we really have to have this? <laughs> but you can write a thriller in which people are dying and being killed all mm. over the place, yes. and nobody complains. You know, I mean, you see books in hairdr hairdressers for, for people yeah. to leaf through, in which there is a, a murder every three pages, yes. and nobody cares. Yeah. But someone um, fondles somebody else in a, in a mm. more or less appetising way. <laughs> and, um, it's um, a horse, though, isn't well, it? In this <laughs> instance, it's a horse. Can but, the other thing you've, uh, another thing you're planning, have you written it or are about to write a musical based on the music of... Uh, of Elton John? Yes. Well, I, I've, I've, I've written a, um, a sort of couple of drafts of that. Um, yeah. And uh, at the moment we're just sort of interviewing directors for it. Uh, I've always been very fond of Elton John. He's yeah. awfully good. Well, he's got a good catalogue of, of songs. Well, to it's it, unbelievable. It's, uh, I, uh, his manager's called John Reed. He's a very nice bloke. And uh, he came round to me once in my, uh, in my trailer uh, yeah. when we were doing Jeeves and Worcester with this big box. Right. It's not where you live, is it, the trailer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. With the horse. Yes. That's <laughs> 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 uh, just a horse and a pair of underpants. Yes. And my, <laughs> my Prince Albert. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> there were 33, 33 cassettes of Elton John and Bernie Taupin songs. And he said, see if you can make a story out of that. Yeah. And that's what, that's what I've tried to do. And it's very yeah. exciting. I mean, and uh, so I spent you know, two months with... Elton John in the car, Elton John in the bathroom. No, hidden yeah. the music. Yes, yeah, the music, not. obviously. So you can do any story you like, uh, obviously keeping away from eating disorders, but uh, just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a, a cut, if you like. Yeah. Blanche. <laughs> well, now, when you write novels or a musical, are you somebody who just sort of sits down and just, you know, gets up again, you've written it, or do you have to agonise over it, rewrite it a million times? One imagines you just sort of, you know... I can say toss things off, but you're dying. Well, I'm trying to avoid saying it, but you just sort of just get do it straight away, because... Uh, but, but is that the case? Um, it, it, it's a lot of agony. It, it's... Different things, really. Horses, if you like, for courses. Yes. Um, uh, there's, uh, it's definitely to continue with our equine theme. But there's, there's, uh, a novel is, is a very, ex I find, I mean, every novel is different. I find a very extraordinary experience. It's like going down a tunnel. Um, uh, and there are, uh, for me, there's at least a week of just kicking the wainscoting and drinking coffee mm. and hating yourself and not being able to get into it. Right. And then suddenly, you, you just cannot, I cannot, uh, do anything else at all. And, and I'll, I'll get up at six and I go straight down to the computer because I have to confess, you know, I do it on, yeah. on my, my lovable Mac. And uh, <laughs> I, um, that's not a raincoat. <laughs> no, no, no. Or, or a Scotsman, or, 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 or a large hamburger. Get on with else, it. Yes, <laughs> uh, I, I streak downstairs. <laughs> it's a minefield yeah, with you, Clive. Yeah. It really is. And my, picture, there's a horse yeah. there. And my daughter will sit here and go, penis, bottom, yeah. bottom, bottom, <laughs> penis. Because yes. somehow every word yeah. I say oh, is going to sound like it, You can't it? do that, Stephen, because that's what you did last time you were on. Oh, did you? I've got to go. Well, there's another story have you? In, in the... Well, you have. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, there's something in the... You come back next week, if you like. But uh, <laughs> there's a story in the papers suggesting you're going to become a Labour MP. Is that... Uh, oh, that is... Made up Tummy rubbish. I don't know. It was so bizarre. I mean, it, it's so peculiar how these things happen. It, it, I think it was Hugh and I would, probably for Jews and Worcester, or possibly for the last Friday, not even, but certainly some time ago, you know, you have these launches or screenings or whatever, where the, where the press come along and they're showed the first episode, and then they, 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 you sit around in what is grandly called a press conference, though it's not like, you know, a sort of Arab sitting on a Louis Quinze sofa, um, as you get in sort of proper people's um, dress, uh, press conference. Yes. <laughs> dress conference. <laughs> That's what we have on Channel yeah. 4, anyway. It's, um... And somebody said, you know, oh, so uh, you two are uh, apparently quite interested in politics. Yeah, they're always Scots, these tabloid people. <laughs> that was a Scots accent. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have... Because they do that as well. Yeah. In my doorway, they do it. Yeah. Speak rather. Yeah. And, um, it's like your trailer. Yeah, yeah. Right. He, uh, he said, do you, you're interested in politics. Do you feel like, you know, going into it? And um, we said, as anybody, I think, would any English person said, oh, we know, one sometimes fantasises about standing up in, uh, in the House mm. of Commons making some blisteringly uh, amusing and, uh, and brilliant speech or saving the country from ruin or whatever. And he went, oh, aye, aye, aye. 
And then, and then a year mm. later, at least, the Daily Mirror, mm. um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is obviously yeah. it's kind of a weird, <laughs> desperate about, you know, about something, uh, yeah. published this uh, classic sort of, you know, oh, what, oh, I say, Bertie, it's Jeeves in Parliament, um, <laughs> kind of um, rubbish about yeah. how we want to go into Parliament. I mean, there are times, I mean, just, just to be serious, I mean, recently, I mean, some of this core values stuff, that, mm. I mean, I mean, I don't know about you, but I mean, I don't particularly mind that the Conservative government of the last 15 years has had at least six publicly acknowledged and self-confessed adulterers, that there, there are at least two homosexual men in the cabinet. Yeah. That doesn't worry me. You know, no, the British people, no. I don't think, mind about that. We're very kindly. <laughs> if people are nice to each other, we don't mind. But when they dare to stand up in some seaside town and tell us how to behave, yes. to tell us to return to, to standards of, of, you know, family values, I think most people just want to kick them in the arse. <laughs> really, I mean, even, even you are. You are. Um, it's, um, before, no, no, stop yeah, you are. Before my... Before, 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 our, before our very eyes, you were turning into a Labour politician. Oh, That's right. Well, I think about Stephen Fry. Thank you. And, uh, uh, all the time for all thank Van der Gaston, David Jay, and Stephen Fry, MP. As if I was saying good night, good night. <laughs>